So based on the amount of snow that we tend to get in Ontario and in Canada, how much snow do you think we would need to get for them to basically close the roads into schools so that you were stuck overnight here? And why? Hazel? Why? Um, because, like, yeah. one meter, like, some, um, most of us are a little over one meter, so I think that that would be pretty high, and right. they, they wouldn't be able to clean the roads. We got less than a meter. Like, let's say instead of getting a full meter, because how many centimeters is in a meter, Hazel? Okay, so instead of getting 100 centimeters of snow, let's say we got 80 centimeters of snow. Oh, here's our meter stick. We got 80 centimeters. Do you think that with that much snow, they'd close the roads? Yes or no? Okay. Think and then think about why. Elise? Yeah. So, like, you can't really walk that well. Okay. But would they have to close the roads here for that? Yes. Because you can't be able to walk out of your door. Yeah. Um, Claire? Um, I'm not sure, but I think they could probably, it may take a while, but they may have to stay after school, but they could probably clear them out. Yeah. How would they clear them? With a uh, snow Okay, anyone else? Yes? Ali? Well, there was this man that came to my house when me and my brother were shoveling. Yeah. And he had this machine, kind of like an ATV where he lowers the shovel. Yeah? Was, no. no it, so okay. It, yeah? So he lowers the thing at the front and then, he, and then he drives forward and pushes it up so they can use a bunch of those. Okay. Anyone else? Elise? Well, if it's the length of your like, leg, then how are the tires? So, you know, in what Elise is thinking about right now, what is she inferring about the roads based on her, based on what she's saying? Um, uh, Ella, sorry, you first and then Mark. Um, like, the roads would probably be the same as everything else. So, and also, if it was like a driveway, it would be the same as everything else. Okay. And Mark, what are you thinking? Actually, the trucks with the thing, they could get through because they're pushing that snow out of their way. Okay. So then what have I said that this question, as bizarre as it seems to us, this was actually a problem that happened in the world a couple of days ago. Did anyone hear about this problem? Okay. And Mariah, do you know anything about the problem that you can fill us in on? <coughs> Yeah. People got locked. People had to stay overnight at a store. Okay. Anyone else? Um, in Atlanta, they had so much snow that some people were actually trapped in their cars for the day. Now, when I said that they had so much snow that some people were trapped in their cars for the day, what would you infer about how high that snow was for them to be trapped in their cars for a day? Jack S? Okay, anyone else? 1.80? Like? 1 meter and 80 cents. Okay. A story. Oh, oh, like, so like as big as like a... House? Like a house kind of thing? Okay, what do you think? Um, I would think like maybe like up to their window. Okay. Um, Jack M? Five feet. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to ask you something. What is the weather like in Atlanta, Georgia? Does anyone know what the weather is usually like in Atlanta, Georgia? In Alabama, Atlanta. I've never really been to Georgia, but I've been to Alabama. Yeah. Okay, 
Anyone else have some thought? I don't really know, but I would want to tell where I'm going to drive. Like yeah. Yeah. And what did you notice about? Really okay. look at this and then I'm going to tell you how much snow they got.